uh, weekly feature smart farm. And smallholder farmers are slowly shifting from conventional farming methods that are impacting negatively on soils to more sustainable farming techniques that ensure proper yields while protecting the environment. One of the practices being encouraged among farmers is agroecology, which is basically sustainable farming that works with nature. On Smart Farm tonight, again, Dennis Etienne met a farmer who has fully embraced this concept by turning a quarry into a thriving farm. Smart Farm, brought to you by Equity. Saving for your farming goals is now easy with equity. Whether you need to buy a tractor, a piece of land, an irrigation system or any other farming need, simply log on to Equity Mobile app or Equity Online and start saving today. Kusave ni rahisi na equity. Over five years ago, this field was in need of a farmer to work it. And the farmer who took up that challenge was Sylvia Kuria. We meet her at a farm in Rare village located in Maimayu, Nakuru County. The transformation here is visible. It is hard to notice that this 10-acre land was once a quarry. We started off the farm in 2017. You know, this area is a semi-arid area and many people have almost given up on farming because uh, it's very difficult to farm in this area because we have depressed rainfalls. It's very dry. The pest pressure is also very high. So you find most people have now resorted to quarrying so that they can be able to make an income. Determined to succeed, Sylvia adopted agroecological farming methods to change this barren land into a thriving farm. When you talk about agroecology, you actually talk about elements and principles in farming that support nature. So you don't want to do the kind of farming that is going to bring, you know, an imbalance in nature, but one that is going to support, you know, the cycle and the natural balances of nature to go on well. So farming with nature in mind. She started off by planting trees on some sections of this expansive farm. Today, she has an estimated 3,000 trees changing the ecosystem here. As you can hear, we have lots of birds right now. You know, in my observation, we have more than 10 species of birds that have made their home here. And we've actually created a natural balance that has actually made the farm to be quite productive. The next step was to fix the soil, and the rest is history. We focused on growing um, nitrogen-fixing trees that are able to naturally fix nitrogen into the soil and bring back the nutrition. And other practices we've done is things like green manuring. So green manuring is basically being able to grow uh, legumes and when they are four to five weeks old, you incorporate them back into the soil. You know, it's going to take time because you have to keep doing it, you know, for about five to six seasons before you start seeing a difference. And then also uh, we do a lot of composting. And for composting to work, you actually have to have a mixed farm. So I also encourage farmers to actually be able to have animals on the farm. Sylvia is now growing a range of crops thanks to these agroecological principles. We grow tomatoes, uh, onions, and um, some leafy vegetables. And we also grow any flowering plant like beans, cucumbers, and courgettes. And then now, uh, during the wet seasons, we grow also a bit of onions. We avoid growing tomatoes because they're going to get a lot of fungal diseases. And we grow a lot of green leafy vegetables. We're also trying to focus on our own indigenous foods. Uh, so we normally grow cassavas, we normally grow sweet potatoes, uh, sorghum and millet. So apart from that, we also are raising pastures for our animals to make sure that our animals are actually grass-fed and they have the highest quality pasture available. She uses the crops grown organically for subsistence purposes and sells the rest at a shop in Nairobi. Despite the potential of agroecology to improve food systems, Kenya, like many other African countries, lacks a coherent policy framework on agroecology. Experts are now calling for increased sensitization on agroecological practices. Agroecology works with nature. And we don't mean that we will not use pesticide at all or chemicals at all, but we reduce.
reduction of the use of these synthetic chemicals that are harmful to the environment has also contributed to greenhouse gas emission. We are not really uh, saying that inorganic fertilizer is bad in that sense, but um, ag uh, agroecology and the practices can also help the government save part of the foreign exchange, up to 30% that they are spending uh, on fertilizer. How this will help a smallholder farmer? It will reduce the cost of production because the farmer is now um, mostly depending on locally available uh, inputs that they can be able to generate uh, at their own level. Every single season, my produce is actually increasing by 30 to 40 percent. So it's basically a choice for farmers. What do you want? Do you want it now and in five years? you don't have any harvests, or do you want to be able to invest for three to four years and have harvest to infinity? According to Sylvia, the benefits of agroecological farming systems outweigh the demerits. Her message to potential farmers out there is to exercise patience and have discipline when venturing into this kind of farming. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm. Smart Farm, brought to you by Equity.